Welcome to another Lupo 3L video. Today I want to show you what's the current status of this car. So in the last part I was struggling to push the gearbox in from below because I don't have such a high lift because we don't have the high ceiling and it was a bit tricky to get it in and it's uh, you, you can't just hold it and push it into the right position. So I used the bridge at the top which I was using to hold the engine on one side and I um, just hang the gearbox with a chain from the top and then just lifted it in and it could wiggle itself into the correct position so that worked really well and was pretty quick. Um, afterwards I connected the suspension again because the suspension um, I took the forward screw of the wishbones out to pull the wishbones out to the side so I can get the drive shafts out of the gearbox same way um, reverse so that also worked pretty well and in the end I assembled everything again so I topped the fluid up this is the standard central hydraulic fluid you can get in every shop and yeah it was really nice to work on this car so far now the big issue the big problem is now to adjust the car's electronics to the new gearbox and that uh, turns out to be a bigger problem because I can start the program and it works um, but it doesn't really run through. In the end um, I was lying underneath the car with the laptop and I waited until the very last step and usually in the very last step it can't reach the final position so I have to um, yeah so it starts again so here we can see it from below, so everything is nice and clean with the new gearbox. That is the third holder and here you can see this piece right here is what's selecting your gears and this is the shaft that goes into the gearbox. And um, when this program runs through it wants you to adjust something, so it just tells you adjust. And what it means by that is this uh, nut here, so just open it, close it. And then you can continue the program. Just put the gear lever in D and then back into the plus minus area and then it works and you can go further. So this program could run through but it always um, yeah, couldn't really reach the final position in the, in the final step. So I was lying underneath the car, wiggled at this gear selector and then it worked. Um, so the program ran through but it something is still not exactly where it should be so I can start the engine again which is good because the gearbox also prevents you from starting the engine um, if it's not set up correctly but as soon as I'm in D or in R um, it doesn't allow you to use the throttle anymore so there's still some kind of problem but there's also no error code so another problem was the battery so the battery was um, a pretty old one, very small one, much too small for this car. Um, we have the very first Lupo uh, version, so the 1999 one, so the battery is still in front, so I can't have a super huge battery, I need to still fit it here. But I took the biggest one that I could get and the battery now is pretty powerful, but um, we still need at least 12.8 volt to do this whole program, otherwise you get all kinds of problems. So, yeah, it doesn't really work so far. Um, mechanically, everything is there, but now I'm working on the electronics. And I can also show you inside here, I disassembled the center console so I can get to the shifter. Because I think one of the problems here is the shifter. The shifter isn't always recognized to be in the exact position. So I guess the shifter is also kind of old and dodgy. But the problem is that this is the very first shifter and it is not produced anymore. Later models have a different shifter, so it's quite hard to get this one. So I will try to get a replacement shifter and see if it's better. And one frequent problem of this car is also that you simply cannot get into the gearbox ECU. So you, you can't reach the, the gearbox and then you need to switch it off and switch it on. So you just spend hours on this car to adjust this electronics to the gearbox. And like I said, it already ran through once, but 
it still doesn't drive. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm still trying to troubleshoot that. The problem is also that all these errors are not repetitive. So it's always something else. It always does something else. Sometimes it doesn't see which gear you're in. Sometimes it doesn't let you enter the gearbox ECU. Um, there's always something else. Um, last time it was almost running through, but then I quickly needed to go underneath the car with the laptop and then suddenly the connection with the laptop and the car is, um, is broken because I think the OBD connector slipped out of the socket. So it's, it's a lot of stuff. So I will keep on fighting and keep you updated. So yeah, that was the quick update on my Lupo 3L. It's uh, still not driving, but mechanically everything is there. I really wanted to have the very first version, the 1999 one, but the problem is also I have the very first problems now, so all the problems you can get with the early Lupus. So stay tuned for more and I hope we get this running pretty soon.